Hi, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at all of the elements that you're gonna to need to build that control room for your DIY hot tub. Okay, so the control room. The control room, as we've seen in the planning stages, got to have plenty of space for this. Don't squeeze the components in as I did. For me, if there was one thing that I could go back and change on my own build, it would definitely be the amount of space that I left for the control room. My components are all way too close together and it just makes it difficult to get in there to change filters, that kind of thing. So make sure, as we said in the planning stage, leave plenty of space. Where's your control room gonna be? Is it gonna be above ground? Is it gonna be below ground? Regardless of the location, it's gonna to need to be covered. It needs to be watertight. You can't have your pumps, your spar pack, the blower, you can't have those exposed to the elements. So it does need to be weathertight and of course, rainproof. If you're going for a below ground control room, you're gonna need some kind of drainage. You, know, you don't want this filling up with water and the water getting into your, your spa pack. Obviously water and electricity doesn't mix, so make sure you do put in some kind of drainage into uh, that control room. I often get asked how big or how powerful the pump should be. Well, this really depends on your build itself. You know, how far away is the control room from the hot tub? The further away, the greater what is called head, which is the weight of water that the pump needs to, to push and, and pull to, to, to make that hot tub work. So the calculations really are, are unique. So if you have a control room which is further away, you're gonna need a more powerful pump. The, the closer you get, the, the power will decrease. How many jets are you gonna have? This also is dictated by how powerful your pump needs to be. Each jet requires a certain level of flow, so it's got to have a certain amount of water going through it at any time to make it work properly. So you need to calculate the, the flow rate of all of your jets, the distance from your control room to your hot tub to give you uh, any kind of uh, head calculation, and you go from there. As a rule of thumb, uh, in my builds, I generally don't specify any more than 16 jets on a single pump. Uh, I've just found it's much easier and it's more cost efficient for the customer just to have a single pump. You can, of course, put multiple pumps in series and, and, and increase the number of jets in your tub. However, the reality is, you know, 16 jets in a concrete build gives you a very nice hot tub experience. So you don't really need any more than that. And again, it keeps the, the cost down using a, a single pump. The pump, of course, it should be dual speed. So you need to be able to circulate the water as well as turn on the jet mode. It's possible to have a separate circulation pump as well as a jet pump, but again, I like simplicity, I like to keep the cost down, so having a single pump that can do both of these things is, uh, is a real bonus. In terms of the blower and how powerful this should be, again, it depends on the distance uh, from the control room to the hot tub. One horsepower is, is plenty for, for most builds, just to kind of give you a, a, a rough idea there on the, on the blower. As we said before, with the blower, make sure you've got a non-return valve on that. You do not want water seeping back into the blower uh, as that will play havoc with your electricity system. How powerful should the heater be in the spa pack? This is a, a question that we, we get asked quite a lot. Again, it depends on the size of the tub that you're building. Bigger the tub, bigger the heater. Bigger the heater, faster the water will heat up bigger the electric bill. So it's, a, it's kind of a trade-off between uh, all three. In, in Europe, I generally specify a three kilowatt heater because that's um, more than enough for, for most size of hot tubs that we, we build over here. In America, generally it's between four and five kilowatts. Uh, as with everything in America, bigger is better. So uh, that's the, the general specification that we use for, uh, for tubs in, uh, in the US. Now onto the spa pack. 
The spa pack itself is a really important part of the control room. It houses the heater, but it also controls the speed of the pumps, whether it's in circulation or whether it's in high speed jets. This is controlled by the spa pack itself. You might see those little control panels that you have the buttons for jets and, and heat, that kind of thing. Uh, it also controls the blower, so you can turn the blower on and off through the spa pack. So it's, it's kind of the brains, if you like, of your hot tub. And you're gonna use this in conjunction with any uh, kind of secondary heating sources. So things like propane, natural gas, air source heat pumps. You're gonna combine the spa pack with those because you need the capabilities of the filter cycle, which is provided by the spa pack, but also the purge cycle. So the purge cycle is where the hot tub jets are turned on for a short period of time, perhaps 30 seconds, maybe twice a day, and that just purges the water from the pipes. So it removes any sitting water in the pipes back into the tub to allow it to circulate and, and get filtered. And this just prevents things in extreme cases like Legionnaires, for example, which can build up in water that's sitting for long periods of time and, and not being used. So the spa pack, as we've seen, is a really important piece of kit in your control room. If you need any additional assistance or you need the plans and designs for a control room, I actually have a package dedicated for this in my online shop. So that's shop.buildahottub.com. Head over, search for control room. You'll find all of the information that you need to enable you to build that awesome control room for your DIY hot tub. If you've liked this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video.